So Joe Biden has been on Twitter, and it's not really Joe Biden. It's basically uh, someone on his uh, on his um, on his uh, Twitter. Someone on his staff. You know, Joe Biden's got dementia. He's not really gonna do and you know put out a tweet. Are you kidding? <laughs> I mean, come on. You got to be delusional to think that. Like a centrist thinker. So I, I keep having a debate with a, a good friend of mine. And he is an MSNBC, CNN, drunk type of person. You know, he's drunk on those channels. And so basically he's talking about how uh, Joe Biden is for health care. He wants to provide everybody with health care. And his argument is, hey, look, Joe Biden may not be doing Medicare for all. At least him lowering the age to 60 is a good thing. And uh, Joe Biden puts out this tweet, right? And he keeps saying, well, health care is a human right and we should all have it. It's a fundamental human right. Well, I agree. But I, I, you know, he's adopting language from real, actual real leftists like Bernie Sanders. Who said it's a fundamental human right to have health care. Let's give you Medicare for all. And Joe Biden is, tr- is adopting that language. Now, here's the problem with him adopting the language. He doesn't actually care or give an F. <laughs> he doesn't give two dams about providing health care. Because if you remember, he did Obamacare with Obama. I mean, it was the Obama-Biden care. And what did they do? They invited all the for-profit health care companies, all the insurance companies. They invited all the drug corporations they invited all of them and they said here sit down and create our our health care plan they never sat down nurses they never sat down doctors they never sat down health care policy you know um health care activists they never sat down any of them at the table and there's a reason obama was funded by Citibank and all of them and and obviously he wouldn't go with a single payer system i mean he criticized it in congress and so joe biden was there and so they created yeah 20 million more people got health care yeah you didn't get denied health care because of a pre-existing condition and it covered for maternity leave and all you know all of that and i mean look i commend obamacare for that but it's still a corporate health care plan it's all about helping the corporations and so you know joe biden doesn't actually believe in medicare for all I mean, you know, when he was on stage with Bernie and they would ask him in interviews, you know, about it, he said, how are we going to pay for it? How are we going to pay for it? How are we going to pay for it? Oh, how are we going to pay for it? Oh, Bernie! Bernie, how are we going to pay for it, Biden? <laughs> <laughs> and he was always like, here's the deal, Jack. Uh, here's the deal. I'm the guy. I was with Obama. I'm the guy. Here's the deal. Look, here's the deal. All right, it's malarkey. Look, here's the deal, Jack. <laughs> and he was saying that. And the Joe Biden's not actually for, for real health care. Lowering the, the Medicaid age or Medicare age to, to 60 ain't going to do Jack. Because what about the people 55 and under? 59 and under. Hillary was willing to go to 50. Joe Biden's like, dog, 60. So Joe Biden, as you can tell, doesn't believe in it. If he's asking how are we going to pay for it, if he's saying I'll lower the Medicare age to 60, he's going to leave our system intact. You'll still have co-payments, deductibles, and premiums. You'll still have auto out-of-pocket expenses. Your drug costs will, will still be really high. You'll be a senior citizen making fifteen to $18,000 a year on, in retirement, Social Security, and all kinds of other benefits if you do get them. That's if. And you have to now decide, do I pay the six, $700 for the medication or the $500 for rent or the $800 for rent? Face it. I mean, that's what's happening, right? So now he's, so, so he's going to keep all that in place. And I mean, what do you have to do now? You have to, if you want to go see a certain doctor, you got to call and make sure they take your health care. Make sure they take, you, they take your health insurance plan. And then you have to like, you know, they've got to make sure that they're in your network. And then if you go get a prescription and a CRN, I mean, if they, if they make it, well, 
you know, an RN or whoever, they also have to be covered by Medicaid. So it's not like, oh, I got my prescription and I can go. No, you you actually have to go and make sure that they are covered by Medicaid or Medicare or Blue Cross Blue Shield or Aetna or, or any of those dang health insurance plans. So Joe Biden's going to keep that intact. He's not promising you Medicare for all. In fact, he told Lawrence O'Donnell, he was you know, basically saying, look, I'll veto Medicare for all. So if in, in a big, big leap in history, something happened to where Medicare for all was passed. It got to his desk, Medicare for all. He would veto it. So no, Joe Biden doesn't actually care for, for health care. He doesn't care about you. Contrary to what people say, they're, oh, yes, he absolutely does. At least Trump will try and take it away. Yeah, Trump is trying to take away health care from uh, another 20 million people. But Joe Biden is just going to keep the system intact. Nothing's going to change under Joe Biden. Nothing. And it's offensive that he's trying to adopt the language of the left when he's not a leftist. He's a horrible corporatist. He takes money from the health insurance companies, from the corporate lobbyists, from Wall Street, from the d- defense contractors, the military industrial complex, the, the prison industrial complex, loan executives, uh, the credit bureaus. Be- you know, he was known as the senator, senator from MBNA before it was bought by Bank of America, but that's who he takes his money from. So this argument, oh, he's gonna, he cares about regular people. He's middle class. No, you're not middle class if you take that money. Number two, you don't care about people if you're taking money from corporations. You care about people if they are literally your life support on that campaign. If you're literally asking them to donate to your Act Blue and you're not taking money from corporations or corporate executives or super PACs or dark money where you don't know where they're coming from. So he doesn't actually care. That's why it's offensive. If you say... Healthcare is a human right. Okay, prove it to me. Go for Medicare for all. Get rid of private health care. Right now, you got to go and buy private health care. You got to go find a plan. Hopefully, you can afford it. Maybe you got to pull out a loan. You got to see if your doctor's in network. <laughs> you know. You got to pay thousands of dollars in deductibles and premiums and then a co-payment. So prove it, Joe Biden. Go for Medicare for all. But you won't. Get rid of all the crap that makes it difficult for people to live in this damn country. Stop the 68,000 people that die every year because they don't have health care. Stop the 500,000 people that go bankrupt because of medical debt. Stop leaving 87 million people uninsured or underinsured. Stop all of that. Get rid of all the medical debt, too. All of it. Oh, but you won't do that. Remember, he said, how are we going to pay for it? So if, if Joe Biden's using the, the language of the left, you only get to use that language if you actually believe in having health care. I mean, we always say we need access to health care. We need affordable health care. We don't have access to the Second Amendment. It says... All persons have the right to bear arms. Not, hey, um, you have, the, you have the right to have access to bear arms. You have the right to afford access to bear arms or afford bear arms. No, 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 no. It's plain language. It also says you have freedom of speech. Not you have access to freedom of speech. Not uh, we need to make freedom of speech affordable. It says there's freedom of the press, not uh, we need access to freedom of the press. How about freedom of assembly to protest? You have access to free, uh, freedom of protest. You have access to a free and speedy trial. You have access to not have any unreasonable uh, searches and seizures. That's what it's talking about. It's not saying... like. That's, that, that's the argument that you're saying, oh, um, you have access to it. 
No, it's in plain language. You have the right to a speedy trial. You have the right to not have any unreasonable searches and seizures. That's what it is. So this argument of, oh, access to health care. Make health care affordable. It's a stupid argument. Everybody knows it. And if you really, 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 really believe in health care, you believe it's a human right, then go for Medicare for all. Enough of the bull crap. Stop trying to adopt the left language if you don't actually believe in it, you corporate hack. Stop. You don't... You don't see your fire department going, you have to pay for me to come out here to, uh, to, to fix your, your house, to stop the fire, to stop the flame. Y- you have access to the fire department. No. Call the fire department. Your house is on fire. The fire department comes. That's it. So, again, Joe Biden is not for health care. I don't give a damn what anybody says. I don't care what any establishment Democrat or any establishment centrist MSNB C, CNN drunk ass person says Joe Biden is not for health care. Oh, and oh, he wants to cure, uh, cure a terminal illness. Yeah, and a bunch of people can't afford that damn cure if they don't have Medicare for all. Oh, oh, OK. Yeah, he absolutely cares about health care. Give me a break, as Joe Biden would say. Remember how are we going to pay for it? That's what he said. Always remember that when he says. We definitely deserve the right to health care because, you know, he damn well doesn't mean it.